I'm Linwood Barclay, and I managed to graduate from Trent University with a degree in English Literature. Uh, I spent 30 years working in newspapers, uh, but now I've uh, left that behind and I write thrillers, uh, one a year. Uh, writing a book a year, writing thrillers is, is the best gig going. It was, uh, I mean, this was what I wanted to do when I was 18, 19 years old, and I had written a few books even at that time, but uh, the trouble was they were terrible. Uh, so it took a while to get to do what I want to do, but I'm having a great time. You know, when I'm doing a book, I'm, uh, I just want to get it done. It's, and so I'm usually at the, in my study by 9 in the morning and working till about 4 in the afternoon. And a book takes me, a first draft takes me about two months to two and a half months. And depending on how good that first draft is, will determine how much more time is spent on it. But I'm pretty uh, disciplined when, it, when I have a book to get done. It's, and it's, I think perhaps all my years of newspaper training means I'm always ahead of deadline. I, uh, I love what I'm doing and I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. I'm uh, you know, doing a book a year. We've got one now. It looks like it may become a movie, and, uh, which is terrific, but it doesn't really change what I do. I just keep trying to, uh, to come up with a new book every year and hope that it's a little better than the one before. One of the uh, real thrills in the last few years has been uh, out of the blue, uh, an endorsement or a, a, some nice words from Stephen King who, when he had uh, read Never Look Away, he wrote a bit about, about it in, Never, in uh, Entertainment Weekly, saying it was the best thriller he'd read in the last five years. And since that time, he's had a few nice things to say about each book since. And uh, it's, it's, it's wonderful to know that someone like that likes your work. One of the great things about attending Trent was, well, probably the greatest thing was that I found my wife, Neetha, there, or she found me, one way or the other. But uh, if you, aside from that, a distant number two, I guess, would be that it's, Trent was just a great place to go. I mean, it had a, a kind of intimate atmosphere. It was a chance to, a place where you got to know your professors, where you weren't kind of a, a faceless, uh, you know, the kind of person in the crowd. Your professors knew who you were, and you knew them, and that was a really great thing. And Trent introduced me to, to writers and works that I had, uh, was totally unfamiliar with, and so that was that was a great thing. And also, the writer in residence program at Trent afforded me the opportunity to meet Margaret Lawrence, who became not only a mentor but a very good friend. And that was uh, one of the one of the very special things about going to Trent. Trent's a great place to go because it's it's first of all it's a it's it's just such a gorgeous place. It's a wonderful kind of you know out in the country and the river running through it, and it's just such a wonderful environment. And you couple that with the, the close attention and the relationship that you can have with the, with the professors and, 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 and the other students. And so I think that uh, if you're looking for an experience that's not all hustle and bustle in the heart of a big city, I think it's, it's really a terrific place to go.